Hey, what's going on with the YouTube? It's your boy Trending Ken back again with some news you can use, man. And today we got PZT, East Side PZ, man. It's a good one today, man. We had bites, flights, and damn near life flights, man. I'm going to read the article for y'all, but before I do that, I need you to subscribe. You subscribe to Netflix for $10 a month, where well, you can subscribe to me for free without a fee. So go ahead and do that, man. I'm going to get into the article right quick. The article reads, Detroit rapper PZ allegedly fought off two gunmen Friday when the pair ambushed him while he was sleeping in his car. The Detroit News reports that PZ's girlfriend heard shots fired outside her home, after which police were called. Upon arrival, they found two armed men fighting and heard someone yell, Who sent you? After the altercation was broke up, PZ told the police his side of the story and that he had bit one of the assailants during the fight. 29-year-old Marquise Pope who hails from Birmingham, Alabama, was arrested on the scene and charged with assault with intent to do great bodily harm, less than murder, as well as firearm offense. He was also treated for minor injuries. Pope was held on a $250,000 bond. He is scheduled to appear in court on July 26 and faces 10 years in prison. The second suspect who PZ fought off during the altercation escaped and remains at large. PZ was released from prison back in February after serving 18 months for a racketeering conspiracy. The Detroit rapper released his first mixtape since being a free man again, Free Rio, which dropped earlier this month. Now, what they basically saying is some dudes pulled up on Peasy while he was sleeping in his car, man, and then they tried to yank him out, and Peasy wasn't having it. Now, I don't suggest you get out there and get to tussling with the gunman unless you got the ups on him. But if they got the drop on you, then I suggest you give it up, man, because $10,000, $20,000, $30,000 worth of jury ain't worth your life, man. If it was me, I'd throw it in the air, and while they looking up, I'd turn around and start running. I'm not about to give my life for no few dollars worth of jury. But Peasy wasn't having it, man. He said he, he going to decide to fight today, and that's exactly what he did, man. He got out there, started scraping with them boys, bit one of them. I mean, it don't get more hilarious than that, man. Because, you know, I mean, when you biting somebody, man, you really trying to get them up off you, man. That's a uh, a foul move in a one-on-one. -on -one, but I guess when it's two-on-one, -on -one, you got to do what you kind of got to do, man. So, shouts out to Eastside Peasy, man. Get them up off you by all means necessary. Fortunate to say, wasn't nobody killed. Wasn't no real blood spilled. And them guys, I don't think they'll try them again, you know. Uh, if they do, they'll be ready to pull the trigger. But, you know, they hesitated and they got whooped on, man. And that's the way it go, man. It's your boy Trendy Ken with an afternoon story for you, man. That was a good one. Like I said, subscribe, man. I'm out of here.